in a hospital emergency room. These incidents are generally not the first time an officer has had a bad encounter with a citizen. And typically, the negative interaction is, uh, violates departmental policy and constitute police misconduct. Let's look at the landscape. How can, uh, this results in a negative image of law enforcement, increased citizen complaints, as well as costly lawsuits to the city. In 20 cities surveyed over two years in 2014 and 2016, the cost of at-risk officers resulted in $127 million in litigation and $1.1 billion in payout. Now that's just two years for 20 cities. Most important, however, is the careers and lives disrupted or lost. Now, how can we uh, address this? Could technology be used as a tool to, uh, to help this out? What if there were a way to continuously and transparently monitor police behavior and adhere to departmental policy? What effects could that have on police image, efficiency, costs, officer careers, and the lives of the citizens they pr protect? Let me tell you a story. In May of 2000, the Detroit Free Press released a number of investigative articles that, um, that showed systematic, uh, excuse me, that showed systematic excessive use of deadly force, illegal dragnet arrests of possible witnesses to crimes, and improper treatment of prisoners. This prompted the Department of Justice to intervene and in 2003 enter into a consent decree with the City of Detroit and its police department at a cost of $100 million to the city. For many years, the city endeavored to change its police uh, procedures using manual and human methods and of supervisory oversight. Unfortunately, even after many years of implementation, the performance still fell short of the consent decree requirements. In 2009, our company was engaged to develop a digital solution to address this problem, and the management awareness system was created. Deployed in 2011 to over 3,000 officers, the system examined key performance indicators of potential officers at risk of misconduct. These officers were then guided through remediation processes that included training, counseling, among other uh, methods. Today, the result was a 22% decrease in uses of force against citizens. It was a 32% uh, decrease in citizen complaints and a 62% decrease in lawsuits against the city in a very short period of time. The mass system was cited by the Department of Justice letter hand-delivered hand to Mayor Duggan uh, as instrumental in phasing the city of Detroit out of the consent decree in 2014. This also increased the positive image of the police department and saved the city millions of dollars in potential lawsuit payouts. The challenge now is how can we continue to solve this problem? How can we work together to utilize the community, technologies such as machine learning and artificial intelligence to expand on the successes that we've seen here in Detroit. We would love to learn your thoughts about how we can use these types of systems elsewhere to expand this success. Thank you.